What's up everyone, this is Cybernet8610 and today we're going to open up the brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! Maze of Memories box. Yeah, Konami actually sent me one of these to open up early for you guys, so that is awesome because I've been looking forward to this set. Ever since it was announced, I've been really looking forward to this one. I think I'm definitely, you know, depending on what all is in this, because we don't have a lot of info, just basically from what we've seen from the, the front of the box. But from the looks of it, it looked like a set that I wanted to buy a bunch of. So we'll see what happens from this. And this is one of those sets, too, where you have a bunch of different rares. There are also super rares. Evidently, there's one per pack, I believe. Then you could also get ultra rares. And there's collector rares in this set, too. So I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to be the collector rares, especially. But as you guys can tell from the boxes, it has a lot of different, like, anniversary cards. But even new versions of, like, Gate Guardian and, like, uh, Wall Shadow and some other things, too. You have some newer like uh, red eyes cards there the new stardust uh black luster soldier there's actually a new one not just like a new art and uh even like some reprints like wind up kitten is there uh was avram it's like his link monster version uh, just a, a bunch of different stuff basically so big thank you to konami and uh let's open this thing up all right <laughs> enough talking i want to know what's in this so um be sure to like and subscribe i try to open up anything new that comes out for Yu-Gi-Oh. And uh, so we do a lot of openings over here, and I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed. It really helps support the channel. And from you guys doing that anyway, it made Konami, you know, interested in working with me. So that's awesome. It's been it's been great lately, you know, actually being able to do some openings with them. And of course, too, as you can tell, it's part of the 25th anniversary, which I'm looking forward to a lot of stuff we're going to see from that. So let's get to it. I just want some collector rares. I'm going to assume they're about as hard to get as, you know, normal, so... We'll see what happens. So starting us off, we have Sui Jin. That is the original one. Then uh, this, this creepy little punk. Huh, <laughs> that's kind of weird. I forget what the other name that we have, but there you go. That's one of the new Infernity cards. That's interesting. Then we have number 39, Utopia Rising. Yes, another Utopia. What is that? Like the, God, what are we up to? Is that, are we close to 10 yet? It's a pretty good one though. Chaos Swarm, reprint there. Ancient Fairy Dragon, I believe this has the errata, probably. I think so. I just kind of skimmed over it, but you can pause and check. Then Saga of the Thunder, and Ancient Fairy Dragon is back. You can use one of them. And uh, Nimble Angler, okay. Thought I heard some, like some people were starting to use that one. I'm glad I got the, the new Utopia, though. Should we do a number update? We've had a few numbers since then. Overload Fusion, pretty decent. Then we have Red Eye Soul. Uh, I kind of wish it was a different rarity. Maybe it's also Collector Rare. Looks cool. Then Super Ancient Deep Sea King uh, Koleth. That one's pretty cool, actually. So, uh, yeah, that's super. Then Barrow from Different Dimension. Not bad. Mudan the Rika Fairy. I think those were getting a little tougher to find. Zephros. And then Soul of the Supreme King. This is like this new card that basically makes it easier to bring out Zark. So, if you need to, pause to read some of these card effects and stuff. But we've opened up some of these uh, a while back. Like, we've kind of gotten an early look when we open up some Japanese packs. So, let's see uh, Mecha Phantom, or Mecha Phantom, Mech Knight, Yellow Star. Mecha Phantom Beast, that's what I was going with, I don't know. Prey of the Jirai Gumo, I think this is a new card. So, it's like a, let's see, special summon this normal insects. You're basically summoning a Jirai Gumo. Huh. That's kind of interesting. So it also helps you get one of your the pieces of Gate Guardian. Again, pause if you want to read through the whole thing. But that's a new card. Oh, here we go. Gate Guardians combined. So, okay, it is a fusion. I kind of wonder if they would do that. Of course, it is Saga of the Thunder, Kazi Jin, and Sui Jin. Must be special summon from your extra deck by banishing the above cards from your hand, field, and or graveyard. Your opponent activates a card effect that targets cards you control quick effect. You can negate that effect, and if you do, destroy that card. You can only use this effect of Gate Guardian combined thrice per turn. Well, that's interesting. If this card, uh, if this face up uh, special summon card uh, leaves its that's in its owner's control leaves the field because of an opponent's card you can special summon one at level 11 or lower gate guardian monster from your deck or extra deck ignoring its summoning conditions so you can bring out gate guardian pretty much that is really interesting okay i i like it i'm, I'm gonna have to build something with that that is awesome then we got elfin i haven't seen him in a while the new uh, shadow ghoul Let's see, you can discard this card, add one Labyrinth Wall card 
from your deck to your hand at the start of the damage step if your opponent's uh, monster battles while you control a Labyrinth Wall card. You can banish this card from your graveyard, destroy that opponent's monster, and that's only a once per turn. Interesting. Don't like that he's a level 5, though. I wish he was a level 4. Then the Battle Royale mode. I remember that one. And bury in, uh, what is that? Untopia? I guess how you say that? Dang, okay, we already got some of the Gate Guardian stuff. Trying to remember if, like, maybe Kazuja and the others, too, will also get, like, new forms. We have, uh, Ryoko Guardian. Okay, so it's an older card brought back for them. If your life points are lower than your opponent's, target one monster you control with Gate Guardian in its original name, half your opponent's life points, then that monster gains attack equal to your opponent's life points. You can banish this card from a graveyard, add one Saga of Thunder, Kazuchin, or Suijin that is banished or in your deck to your hand. You can only use this uh, once per turn. So it's a searcher and a way to really do some damage. Time to stand up. On your mark, get set duel. We've gotten that a few times, I remember. Let's put it there. Angel Blue Tears. Labyrinth Wall. Okay, so we're still using the original one. Royal Decree. And Forge New Future. The Gate Guardian stuff is actually brand new. Like, Japan doesn't have these yet either kind of thing. So that's why I'm reading them off and giving you extra time. Because that is more of the exclusive look. Okay? If you're wondering. There's Sui Jim. There's the original Gate Guardian. Okay. That's a good reprint. Oh! Okay, so we're actually getting... Uh, like half fusions, uh, we have Gate Guardian of Wind and Water. So it's Kazijin and Suijin. Must be a special summon from your extra deck by banishing the above cards you control. Once per chain, when your opponent activates a spell or trap card or uh, effect on the field, you can negate that effect. You can only use this effect of Gate Guardian, Wind and Water twice per turn. If this face up special summon card in owner's uh, control leaves the field because of an opponent's card, you can special summon one of your Kazijins or Suijins. Okay. Kind of reminds me of like a. Gladiator Beast kind of thing going on. Like they contact fuse and then they can unfuse and stuff. Very interesting. More McKnights and Labyrinth Wall Shadow. This is another new card. Uh, monsters cannot attack the turn they are summoned except uh, monsters whose original level are five or higher. Once per turn during your main phase, you can place one of your Saga of Thunder Kazi Jin Sui Jin that is banished or in your hand or deck face up in your Spell or Trap card zone as a continuous spell. At the start of your opponent's battle phase, you can target one monster your opponent controls with less than 1,600 attack. Destroy it. So this is a field spell now and it's another way to get your your, uh, the Gate Guardian piece is out there, it looks like. So you can use them as, like, spells and traps, I guess, in that zone. And then I guess you could probably fuse from there. That sounds pretty good, because they're, you know, they're a couple of tributes, normally, to bring them out. So that's going to make it easier. I like that. Okay, it looks like they aren't playing around here. I like these effects. Good. <laughs> I was hoping it wouldn't just be, you know, just whatever. We have Photon Orbital. That's a pretty nice reprint, too. Uh, Imperial Iron Wall, then Asile, the uh, Sylvan High Protector, I haven't seen that in a while, it's a pretty good one. Uh, Kalut, Cost Down, and Deep Dark Trap Hole, and then also Royal Decree, okay. Deep Dark Trap Hole I think is pretty good reprint because of Trap Tricks, I guess, so I don't think it was in that structure deck. I don't know, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Overload Fusion, Treacherous Trap Hole, and there's uh, Avramax, okay, yeah, he's on the cover, so that was the one I was trying to say earlier. Elfin, Different Dimension, Angler, and Saga of the Thunder. So it looks like we're still using the original Gate Guardian pieces. Okay, kind of interesting. Creepy Little Punk. <laughs> Just that name's interesting. Jerry Gumo. And here's another. Okay, I was wondering. Uh, Gate Guardian of Thunder and Wind. So we have another one here. Of course, it's Saga of the Thunder and Kazijin. Let's see, must be special from your extra deck by banishing the above cards uh, you control during your main phase. You can add one spell or trap card from your deck that mentions Saga of the Thunder, Kazi Jin, or Sui Jin. You can only use this effect of Gate Guardian uh, Thunder and Win once per turn. Uh, if the face up special summon card in its owner's control leaves the field because of an opponent's card, you can special summon one of your banished Saga of the Thunder or Kazi Jin. So this one's a searcher, basically. Okay. The, the other ones seem to have like negating effects and stuff to help you keep stuff on the field, but this is the searcher. So. That's, again, really cool. It reminds me of, like, XYZ, even. Soul Stream Dragon. Okay, we've seen all those so far. So I guess there's probably one more fusion. Because, again, it reminds me of XYZ because we had, you know, X and Y and Y and, and Z and all that going on back in the day. So, Kazijin. Red Eye Soul. Overlay Network. That's a good card, by the way. That's I'm glad we finally got that one. 
I've actually tested that one out a little bit. Saga of the Dragon Emperor, I like the artwork. Labyrinth Wall, Forge New Future, and Blue Sky, which I believe is another decent reprint there. Hadn't seen Mechnax in a while, so wonder if that means we might see something in the future for them. Some new support. Who knows? Then uh, Ryoku uh, Gate, or Guardian, whatever, that's that other one. We read that off. Of course, Gate Guardian. Then uh, Labyrinth Heavy Tank. Okay, so it's Labyrinth Tank, basically. Not as a fusion this time. He is uh, level 7, I believe. Uh, you can normal summon this card without tributing. Cannot attack the turn. It is normal summoned. Uh, during your main phase, you can place one uh, of Saga of the Thunder, Kazijin, or Suijin that is banished or in your hand or deck face up. Spell a trap card zone as a continuous spell. Then if you control a Labyrinth Wall, you can destroy one monster your opponent controls. You can only use this effect a Labyrinth Tank once per turn. So you get, you kind of have that searching ability. He can just be normal summoned as well. Very nice on that. And uh, that's pretty cool. Okay. I like that one too. Elfin. Oh, there's that other one. I remember that from the anniversary. Then Petal. I think that was get tougher to find. And New Performa Pal. That's another one I know we've talked about before. Because, again, that was in the anniversary set. So, again, if you want to make sure you're updated with all this stuff, subscribe. Photon Orbital. Yellow Star. Cost down. Oh, we have Double Attack Wind and Thunder. And we might have something else here. But first off, if you control a Gate Guardian monster, target a card on the field, destroy it. During your main phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Add one of your, of course, Saga of the Thunder, Kazuji, and Suijin that is banished or in your deck to your hand. You can use the effect of double attack, uh, wind, and thunder once per turn. So again, you kind of have like a searching thing going on. Okay. And, oh, here's one of our ultra rares. Wake up your elemental hero. I think this was on the box. I'm not 100%, but I was hoping we'd get this one. So, yeah, a new hero card that's actually really good fusion. We've gone over it before, otherwise I would read off its effect. But, yeah, it's one that's been around in Japan, I think, for at least six months, I would say. So, you probably have heard of it, but we finally have the printing over here, so it's awesome. Okay, time to stand up. There's Super Soldier Ritual. Asile. Again, I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know how you technically pronounce that one, so forgive me. We have Saga. Anything else? Yeah, we've got over the field spell. Okay. Sorry, I'm not really just stacking these the best. I'm, I'm looking through the cards myself. I'm freaking out over all the cool stuff, so. <laughs> so far, we've only got one Ultra Rare. I wonder if it's like three per box, like normal on these sets. Oh, do we? Oh, dude! <laughs> oh, man! Uh, yeah, Baron was getting reprinted. I think that was confirmed anyway, because she's on the box. Of course, you can see, like, right down there. And um, I think it was in the write-up, too, but I got the Collector Rare! Dude! Oh, man. I hate dueling against this card, by the way. I had to, before I made this video, I was actually playing Master Duel, and uh, someone used this against me. So, that is sick looking. I kind of figured it would be one of them, but... Wow, okay, that deserves a like, you guys, come on. I'm gonna get a sleeve for that too, real quick, but, uh, yeah, that, that deserves a like right there. Good, I was hoping, I feel like normally if you only get one Ultra on one side of one of these boxes, you don't get a Collector's Rare, but I've proven that wrong a couple of times now, so, that is sick looking, that's gonna be one of the best ones, probably. I think there's supposed to be 15 in total, we'll see what else. Hopefully I get another one later. <laughs> Probably not out of this box, but in the future, I'm sure. Wish the others luck, too. We have Heavy Tank. Yeah, I hope anyone else that got this to open up early, I don't know who else was chosen. Hope we all got some collector rares going, because I want to see what all is in this set. There's a Jirai Gumo. I do like how they kind of just made a trap card. Uh, then we have uh, Wind and Water. Did we? Yeah, we talked about Wind and Water already. Okay. So what? Water and Thunder? I wonder if they have a, a fusion. Wall Shadow, I think we went over already. So, there, just in case. If you needed to pause, you could probably read it. This box is awesome. Okay. I am psyched about this set. I was hoping I wasn't going to be, you know, disappointed. We have Overload Fusion, Gate Guardian. Uh, Labyrinth Wall, and yeah, I think we've been over this one, the Wind and Thunder, okay, and Duel Academy, all right, I didn't even notice that, that we got an Ultra on that one, yeah, we've seen this card before again, it was in the Japanese set, but uh, 
it's so cool to have this one in English. Like, I seriously, Konami, make this into a playmat. <laughs> I would buy that 100%. So, that is really cool. Then, yeah, some of their just good cards in general. So, I got a collector's rare and two ultras. I'm probably missing one ultra. And hopefully, we still have some others that we didn't get yet. Oh, there you go. Side Beast, yeah, uh, Cash Tira. It's a good reprint for them. So, there you go. I think it was Extreme Victory, I think. It hadn't been a, around for a little bit, so. God, when was Extreme Victory out? That was like the last pack for, or one of the last packs, I think, at the very least, for 5Ds, so. Whew. <laughs> it's been a while. Uh, we have Sui Jin again. Anything different? Uh, we have Evolution and Burst. Is this? Oh, yeah, that's the Cyber Dragon card. Okay. It's a good card, by the way. It's actually pretty decent. New Cyber Dragon support. Again, though, that is one we've seen before. But I'm happy we got it, finally. So. Just makes me want to update so many different decks. Uh, we have, of course, the Gate Guardian, uh, Water and Thunder. Is that... Yeah, that's the one we're missing, right? Yeah, okay, I was... I'm sorry, I was starting to get confused. Yeah, okay, so this is Sui Jin and Saga of the Thunder this time. Must be special summon from you, except by banishing the above cards you control once per chain. Quick effect. You can target one face-up monster your opponent controls, change its attack to zero until the end of this turn. You can only use this effect of Gate Guardian, Water, and Thunder twice per turn. If this uh, face-up special summon card leaves the field and all that, of course, you know. Sui Jin and Saga, you get them back, basically. <laughs> you know, so, same old, same old in the last part. But this one can reduce attack to zero. That sounds very good. And I like to it how it actually has, like, was it 2,550? I feel like we don't see weird attack points anymore. So, that is awesome. I guess that's the last of them, then. And we went over that one, yeah. Trying to make sure. I'm going to assume that probably all the Gate Guardian stuff is Collector Rare. We'll see. I would love to have the original ones as Collector Rares. There's that. Oh. Oh, okay. It's a new Firewall. There we go. This one is uh, Firewall Dragon Dark Fluid. Uh, Neo Tempest, uh, Terra Hertz. That's how you say it. Okay. It's the new Link 5. It's an, it's our last Ultra, probably, that we're getting from this box. And, uh, pretty sick looking, actually. It's a good power-up. So, yeah. <laughs> More Firewall. And then, what, the, the next set coming out, Firewall support again. So, you're getting a lot of Cyber stuff coming up. If you're a fan of, uh, Brains, basically. And Cyber, you're about to get a lot of stuff. So, you're gonna be happy, I feel like. Yellow Star, Orbital, anything different? Oh, we have the combined one again. So, basically Gate Guardian. And, yeah, we've been over all those. Alright, just a couple more packs. What are we getting, you guys? Another Gate Guardian. I think I still have some of my Secret Air ones from <laughs> back in the day. Ooh, Soul Judgment. Okay, I wonder if that's also Collector's Rare. I could see that. Not bad. I'll take that. Chaos form. Okay. This is awesome. <laughs> Alright, just two packs left. I am very happy with this set. It's pretty much what I expected it to be. And I mean that in a good way. There's our number 3090 in Utopia Rising. I'll take it. One for number binder, one to use. <laughs> And last pack. Okay, can we with something above a super? I mean, we should get a super, but, you know, I'm, I'm just going to be greedy. I got Baron. I'm going to be greedy, evidently. <laughs> Let's see. Hey, to be fair, I'm not getting rid of that Baron. That, that card's beautiful. I got to keep that collector rare. <laughs> Let's see. Overload Fusion. Super Soldier Ritual. And, oh, we got the Sylvan. Eh, oh, well. No Black Lesser Soldier. I wonder if that one's going to be an Ultra. We'll see. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Seriously, it looks like a good set. I mean, Konami doesn't, like, get to tell me what to say. These are my honest opinions on it. And, uh, I've been looking forward to this one for a while. It almost feels like another sort of Battles of Legend or Animation Chronicle kind of thing. Where, basically, we get a few new cards but some really good reprints. And, yeah, I mean, I've been waiting on a lot of these cards for quite a while. We knew a lot of them were on the front of the box, so we knew we were getting them. But, like, Wake Up Your Hero, that's one I've wanted. Overlay Network is really good. I think I've seen people use that in Exosisters. 
we finally got another number monster for us. The Gate Guardian stuff looks fun. And uh, <laughs> this just speaks for itself. Like, seriously. <laughs> yeah, that is sick. Thank you guys for watching, though. Like, subscribe, and all that. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you to Konami, because seriously, it's awesome. And, uh, yeah, we'll do a ton more openings when this set is out. We're only a couple weeks away from that. So be sure to subscribe so you stay updated, and uh, we'll live stream it and stuff, too. And I'll catch you guys later. See ya.